One of the common reasons why your website might suddenly enter safe mode when editing with Elementor is related to your PHP memory limit, but quite often it can also be due to how many revisions you've got loaded in the back end that you might not even realize. I've got my test website on here, and what I recommend to a lot of people is to use the free plugin WP Sweep. You can get it for free. And what you want to do is go in and get rid of these revisions. Now, I only have on here something like six or seven pages, and I use them for tutorials. And I'm often deleting, adding new pages, testing things out. And what happens is that each time I'm doing an update or a publish or whatever of that page, a revision is being stored in the back end. The problem is that after you've left that page, even like one or two weeks have passed by, when you come into your website, this is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And I once looked at someone's website where they had like over 3,000 count for their revisions. And every time they went in to edit a page, it was like safe mode, safe mode. And it wasn't the PHP memory limit. It was actually what was going on here. You could use the WP Sweep plugin. All you've got to do is hit sweep and it will sweep them all away. But what if you don't want to install a plugin? And that's where our good friend John Boriati has pointed me over to a snippet that they've put on the Code Snippets cloud. You got to make sure you got the code snippets plugin. I mean, come on, why have you not got that installed on your WordPress website? What you want to do is copy this code, give it a title, paste it in. Now, the only bit you need to really modify is how many revisions do you want to allow? Now, this is currently defaulting to five, so it will always keep the latest five. If you're not really bothered by that and you just want to keep the latest two, for instance, just go and do that. Now, by the way, the revisions is not the history. You know when you're working on a page or a post and you can roll back in time, whatever, to what you were doing during that session? That's the history. I'm talking about the points in time when you've actually gone and done and hit the update button or something like that. So if you're kind of quite certain or sure of yourself, you might want to reduce that down to two or three. If you want to be a little bit more careful, maybe go for a five. I'm going to hit that and hit save changes and activate. Now, when you come back over to WP Sweep, you're going to notice it still says 173. Now, what you are going to have to do is actually go in and hit update. Now, here's my recommendation. Once you've gone and installed that code snippet, I would go and hit sweep. Just clear everything out. And then in future, whenever you go into any one of your posts or pages, each time you go and make a change or hit update, it will drop back the number of revisions to literally two. So I've gone over to one of my pages and I'm just going to actually drop in an icon like that and hit update. Basically, I'm just updating the page because this is how that snippet actually works. Every time you go in and run an update or anything, it then knocks back the revisions for that page down to two. When I come over to WP Sweep now, can you see that number has gone from 173 to 141? Now, it's not shot down to zero because I would recommend you go and hit sweep and knock them all down. And in future, you know that that code snippet is going to basically keep it down for you. If I go and hit details, you can now see a list of basically everything where there's a revision. Look, I've got a page called test in run. Look how many times it is there. And when I scroll down, that page I just updated was called semantics. Look, there's only two versions of that. And just to make a point, notice how we got testing run there many times. Let's go to the testing run page. I'm just going to drop in an icon for the sake of it like that. Hit update. Obviously, you know, you would do what you want. Back into WP Sweep, it's now down to 136. And when I look at the details and I scroll down, you won't see testing run until right at the bottom down here. And it's only there two times now. So can you see how this code snippet could massively help you out? So what I would say, go and use WP Sweep, sweep them out. Then you can uninstall and deactivate this plugin and just use the code snippet. Thanks, John Bariati. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life.